application of linear systems. I am Anil Kumar and in this example the linear system given to us comprises of three different lines. The three lines y equals to x plus 1, y equals to 4 minus 2x and y equals to minus 2 intersect to form a triangle. Graph and find the coordinates of the vertices of the triangle. Determine the area of triangle enclosed by these lines. So we are given three lines. Lines are y equals to x plus 1. That's the first one. The second one is y equals to 4 minus 2x. And then we have y equals to minus 2. So these are the three lines. We need to graph them and then find their points of intersection. So two lines will intersect at a point and it seems that they form a triangle, right? So let us first graph them and then find the vertices of the triangle, right? We have to graph and find coordinates of vertices. That's the first part. And the second part is to determine the area of triangle enclosed by these lines. So let's start by graphing the first line, which is y equals to x plus 1. Now y intercept is 1, slope is also 1, so that goes like this. So we can draw this line with x intercept, y intercept at 1. Now, so this is your line, so let's just graph it. So that's the first line. The second line is y equals to 4 minus 2x. You should see it like this, minus 2x plus 4. Right? Y intercept is 4 for us and slope is minus 2. That means down to 1 there, right? Down to 1 there. So let's join these points to get the second line. So that's the second line. The third line is y equals to minus 2. It's a horizontal line, y equals to minus 2. So let's draw this one. Now these three lines intersect at three different points forming a triangle. So first let us write down the vertices of the triangle. Let's say that is the point A, this is point B, and this is point C for us. So we get A as minus 3 minus 2 and point B is 3 2 3 and minus 2 point C is 1 and 2 y value of 2 so that forms these are the three points of our triangle now we need to find area of the triangle so what is the area area is half base into height right so area is half base times height. Now in this triangle, base, we can consider height as a perpendicular from point C to point B, right? So let me draw a perpendicular from point C to point B. So the vertical line will be a perpendicular since AB is fortunately for us a horizontal line. So that becomes a perpendicular line, right? So there it goes. This is perpendicular. Now, this is a simpler problem. In a way, we can easily find the distance between A and B. It is difference in their x values. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the base is of 6 units, so half times 6. And height is 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 units, right? So that gives us half of 24 which is 12 units square. So the area of this triangle is half of base, which is 6 units, and height is 4 units. So we get 12 units square. So from the graph, it's kind of easy to read all this information, right? So I hope you appreciate it. So we have both the answers here. The first one is right there, the vertices of the triangle ABC, right? And the second one, the area of the triangle. Thank you.